Hello, and thank you for listening to this short video about a transseller initiative, How Can You Modernize Your Statistical Environment? This is case study number six, using the framework to improve package validation process. Before I begin, let me quickly tell you about Transcelerate. Transcelerate is a nonprofit organization. We were created to foster collaboration and charged with improving the health of people around the world by accelerating and simplifying the research and development of innovative new therapies. We are a membership-driven organization and passionate about designing solutions to address R&D's most complex challenges related to clinical development and drug safety. Founded in 2012, we have over 60 solutions being delivered across 25 initiatives across three strategic priorities, 20 member companies, 30 initiatives, including five pharmacovigilance initiatives. If you'd like to skip this introduction, feel free to go right to the case study slides on number 16. This presentation today is a tool for leaders in biopharmaceutical companies and CROs who are seeking to modernize their statistical computing environment. It is for those who want to directly or indirectly influence their company's ability to apply the principles of our framework practically. It is intended for leaders and influencers in business units who use traditional analytical tools but are seeking non-traditional analytical tools for their enterprise analytics suite that allows for modern and innovative approaches to regulatory submissions. These techniques will help break through business as usual, and we encourage you to adopt and modify as much or as little of this tool as suits your needs. There is an undeniable need for cutting edge technologies that can transform the analytical life cycle through innovation. There is no specific requirement for analytical software. However, today we are limited to traditional software because guidance narrowly defines reliable software and pushes us to continue using dated technologies. The lack of guidance on software use in analytics is becoming increasingly challenging due to the emergence of electronic and digital data sources. For example, there has been a growth in wearable and electronic health data at both the organizational and personal levels. The size of the data is growing at alarming rates as data governance technologies emerge, resulting in the need for analytic capabilities that require multiple solution providers, traditional or non-traditional. And there is greater availability of advanced technologies such as non-traditional analytical tools that can offer more capabilities traditional software can't, such as machine learning, artificial intelligence, or natural language processing. Biopharmaceutical companies and CROs have heightened demand for software capabilities to address these needs in their regulated R&D environment. The framework for modernization of statistical environment is being presented today to address these deficiencies. Our framework comprises a set of principles that can be adhered to build and maintain a modern computing environment that health authorities will find reliable and output of which can be used with confidence to support regulatory filings. The framework for developing a modernized statistical analytical environment or MSA environment applies to both traditional and non-traditional software. It demonstrates that the MSA environment produces accurate and reproducible results with documentation that traces those results to their lineage of dependencies for each output. This end-to-end -end control based on ART, which is accuracy, reproducibility, and traceability, will provide health authorities confidence in the reliability of efficacy and safety results for new drug candidates in regulatory submissions. It is important to note while the foundational principles of the framework, accuracy, reproducibility, and traceability are specific and required for the modernized statistical environment, the particular implementation of them is entirely the purview of the respective organization building it. This presentation today shares general proposals or best practices to help your organization implement a reliable, modernized statistical analytics environment. Accuracy, reproducibility, and traceability are core tenets of the framework that delivers a reliable MSA environment. They cannot do this as a standalone concept. They must be integrated together cohesively. 
This integration begins by identifying a program's output intended purpose. Processes to appropriately tag programs executed within the MSA environment with an intended use are tagged. Tools to scan programs or program logs should be developed to identify libraries used and assess the risk level to align with the allowable risk level for the intended use and quality control processes to scan all outputs from an MSA environment should be established to ensure programs use appropriate software libraries. This slide points out a few steps for using the MSA framework. One, check out the infographic. Two, learn more and read the framework. Three, Use the case for adoption to socialize the framework with appropriate stakeholders to create momentum for implementing these types of environments. And four, provide feedback or implementation stories to Transcelerate. Effective collaboration with stakeholders is critical in moving forward on creating these modern statistical environments. Namely, when new technologies get introduced to environments, it's typically not in a vacuum, rather, it's built onto existing environments. There are various roles involved in moving these environments forward, both within the statistics organization and within IT. Here is a brief description on how the roles work together to advance the statistical computing environment. One, statisticians. Statisticians will work together with programmers to vet and define which new programs will be added to the environment. Two, programmers. Programmers will work together with statisticians to vet new software, but also carry out specific validation efforts as it relates to specific use of new software. Three, clinical quality. Clinical quality will provide regulatory oversight in guaranteeing the tools remain compliant for use. Four, IT. IT will take commercial off the shelf or COTS solutions and install them into the server environments. Additionally, they will work closely with engineering to develop streamlined or automated processes for these deployments. Five, engineering. Engineering will work with IT to custom configure the commercial off-the-shelf solution. Additionally, they will work with statisticians and programmers to guide the use of the new tools for building things like automation pipelines. And maintenance. Once the new tools have been deployed, a maintenance competency will be needed within IT to manage maintenance and upgrades to the environment. Here are the phases of implementing the MSA framework model. It starts with pre-planning, design, implementation, and production. We have identified the considerations involved in each phase along with key stakeholders and challenges. The legend on the left groups the stakeholders into two buckets, core stakeholders and tech stakeholders. Additional stakeholders are listed in each phase. This case study is to be used in the production phase. The purpose was to develop a protected platform where everything is validated so it can be used for regulatory submission. The focus of this case study is to share the lessons learned while using the MS framework to build a process that uses non-traditional statistical analytical tools and includes validation around accuracy, reproducibility, and traceability for each package. The aim for this technology to evolve over time and get users and stakeholders to trust what is developed for regulatory submission. Currently, this process is still being developed and being used to analyze primary endpoints and to do safety and exploratory analysis based on use risk assessment. Several key attributes were implemented and categorized to assess the level of impact and how much testing would need to be done. Some benefits of using the MSA framework in creating this validation process 
were that it helped structure thinking about topics that are studied in the field to impact stakeholder confidence levels around regulatory submissions and encourage teams to add attributes to their processes that were not previously considered. Some of the challenges the team faced were having several stakeholders that each had their own subjective opinions about the process that were often difficult to address. Gaining agreement amongst the diverse stakeholders is not always possible, and if possible, it takes time. The way to overcome this hurdle is to get organizational leadership support and buy-in about the number of resources and time that will be needed for a successful implementation early on in the planning process. Other key items to think about and plan for are how you will measure and integrate impact, instill confidence, and clearly establish priorities and definitions on what's important. For example, attributes like downloads and use cases is hard to measure. Other attributes like managing dependencies are considered challenging if dependencies are not supported anymore or got depreciated. Think about how you will mitigate risk and what type of testing should be done is important. The sponsors of this case study did a deep dive into the process with their IT colleagues who checked their steps to validate non-traditional statistical analytical packages for regulatory submission. There is still more for this team to do regarding the completed process for validating their packages before regulatory submission. Further goals include setting up validation methodologies based on certain criteria and looking deeper to assigning low and high risk levels in any of the non-traditional statistical analytical packages. This framework is the result of a year-long collaboration to accelerate the use of new tools across the biopharmaceutical industry and within analysis and reporting competencies for these companies. Broadly, there is a larger cultural shift happening where there are innovations happening at an accelerated pace and with software used for statistical analysis. While companies must address risks and delay use of these software capabilities, there is an opportunity cost which ultimately impacts the ability to bring drugs to market faster. Additionally, these innovations can only be leveraged across our industry if the health authorities ultimately find that these capabilities produce reliable results. This framework and these best practices give industry an approach for demonstrating to the health authorities the reliability of analytical software, including those that have recently emerged on the industry's horizon. By working together to build the health authority's confidence in the software, we will facilitate the modernization of our statistical tools. We only stand to gain from accelerating the industry's transformation. In general, organizations must adopt a more malleable approach to their operations, including the use of frameworks like this to help with the industry's transition to more modern computing solutions. Each organization will have to decide on its own their appetite for change and balance these associated risks. From the field of statistics at large to the individual study teams, embracing this culture shift will be critical to the success of modernizing analytics. You can see the latest updates on the Transcelerate website. We would like to hear from you. Find our Modernization of Statistical Analytics Engage With Us forum on the Transcelerate homepage where you can share additional feedback. This concludes our presentation. Thank you for watching.